G'day, in this video we'll be looking at the unit circle. Um, the unit circle is exercise 1a of the Sadler book. So, uh, what is sine 30 and cosine 30? Well, this question here can be answered using what's known as a unit circle. A unit circle, unit meaning one radius in this case. So it's a circle of one radius. Now, you can see here we've already drawn that in. One radius there would be one. And if we sweep that one radius through, it'd make a perfect circle in which all the coordinates intersects with the well, axes will be 1, 0, 0, 1, negative 1, 0, and 0, negative 1. So how can we use this circle to help us solve this problem? Well, we can do something a little bit exotic with it. We can say that, and let's just draw out this triangle here, if we measure the angle from the, so the horizontal here, the positive x-axis, right? And then measure any angle sweep, in this case it could be, it looks around 30 degrees actually. We have the angle sweep there. And then we know that this length here matches up with this length here. So in this case it would be a radius sweep of one. So let's use this to see what sine 30 and cosine 30 is equal to with our unit circle definition. So let's label our sides. We know this is our hypotenuse, that's H, okay? And this angle's opposite, and this, sorry, this side's opposite and this side is adjacent, okay? So let's go, what's sine 30 degrees? Well, sine 30 degrees, and in this situation we're saying this is 30 degrees, Sine 30 degrees is going to be equal to, sine 30 degrees will be equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Now for sake of this, let's call this y as this appears to be in the y and let's call this x. So sine 30 is equal to y which is opposite over hypotenuse which is 1. So therefore we can say that y is equal to sine 30 degrees. Okay. And let's have a look at cosine. Cosine 30 degrees will be equal to adjacent on hypotenuse, which is x over 1, which can be simplified to x is equal to cosine 30. Okay. So let's write those in, and I'm going to do that in red. y is equal to sine 30 degrees in this case, and x is equal to cosine 30. Now what does that mean? Well, let's just say we superimpose that. This here is our origin, right? You can see this is our origin, just there. And if we drew that down, like that, drew a right angle, and if this happened to be 30 degrees, then we know that the distance from the origin to this point here is going to be cosine 30 degrees. We also know that the height, which in this case is y, is going to be sine 30 degrees. Okay, So if I pluck that coordinate there, that means I've gone a distance of from 0. 0 plus cosine 30 is cosine 30. So the x coordinate is cosine 30 degrees. And the y has gone from 0, 0, so 0 up sine 30. sine 30 degrees. So there we have it. We can use our unit circle then. If we just draw a unit circle like this, we draw an angle sweep of 30 degrees. If we find out what the coordinate is, where it hits the circumference of our circle, then the x ordinate will be equal to cosine 30 and the y ordinate will be equal to sine 30. So we can use this property of unit circles to help us solve these kinds of problems. And there's a summary of this here. So example one, use the diagram to find the value of sine 30. So each one of these little chunks here equals a 10 degree sweep. So sine 30 will be, and let's zoom in a bit on that so we can see that a bit better. Okay, so sine 30 will be one, two, three sweeps, okay? A 
and the dot represents where it hits the uh, circumference of the circle. Now, we can draw a line straight down. Okay. And that represents our X coordinate. And we can draw a line straight across. Now the more accurately you draw these lines, the better it will go. So here I'm just using um, sort of my guesstimate, okay? And what we have there is if we can figure out the x value, that's our x our value which is cosine theta. And if we can figure out our y value, that's our sine theta. Now in this case, we figured out the angle sweep of 30 degrees, okay? So therefore, this value here is going to be cosine 30 degrees and then sine 30 degrees. So, what does that look like? Well, the x value, we're going to guess, each one of these increments is equal to 0 0.1. So, 0 0.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, it's in between 8 and 9. It looks like 0 0.86 is my guess. So, that'll be around, and this is estimate, 0 0.86 and what would the y value look like? Well, it looks like it's 1, 2, 3, 4, about 0 0.48. Okay. Now, if I drew this more accurately, the more accurately I draw this, the better it will go. So we say that using our unit circle, we estimate cosine 30 using the x value to be 0 0.86. And we also estimate using the unit circle that sine 30 degrees is equal to 0 0.48. Now, let's use our... Um, calculator to confirm this, but in here I'll just put that my guess in. Okay, and let's use a calculator to confirm. So shift 2, oh, shift 2, 30. Okay, this is the cosine. We got oh, close. So we've got a value of an actual value of 0.87. That's two decimal places. And let's have a look at sine 30. And I'm sure you might know that this is meant to be in half. So there we go. We got, it's equal to 0 0.5. So there you can see we've got a relatively reasonable estimate using our unit circle of these values. So I'm relatively happy with that. In the next videos we'll be going through and answering a few more of these types of questions.